Greetings from Jivarish Technologies. Database Browser is a G Suite add-on that interfaces with any database from Google Sheets. Using Database Browser, you can connect to the database, explore all the tables, query the table, and bring the results back into Google Sheets. Also, Database Browser can be used to update data in database directly from Google Sheets. This video is to demonstrate the basic features of Database Browser uh, so that users can refer this to connect to database, query and present the records in Google Sheets as well as update the data and send it back to database. Let me create a new Google Sheet. Let's start. The first time when I start it, it is saying that there is no connection, so it is asking us to create a connection. Let's create a new connection. So it provides a list of database to which we can connect. So MySQL, Oracle, MS SQL Server, Google Cloud SQL, MongoDB, BigQuery, Data Store, Firestore. These are all the supported databases currently and this list is continuously going to be uh, increased. Let's pick uh, MySQL. Let me give a name to this. Okay, so for this demo, I'm going to use a test database. So the test database can be reached into a free queue and uh, the test database details. So this is a sandbox uh, database. I'm going to use this. Okay, once you have filled all this uh, connection details, you can test the connection. So it is connected successfully. So let me save this. Once it is saved, a connection is ready. So now we can go to query by clicking this or we can click on this and then go to the query menu. Let us create a new query. Let's choose the connection that we have defined. The query wizard brings the existing tables there. There are two tables here. Let me choose invoice. We can choose the fields from here. If you leave it blank, it will automatically pick up all the fields. Let me leave it blank. So we can also define the filters and sort by information there. Default uh, is 10 max results, number of uh, records to be uh, displayed here. So I'll change that to 100. This is for scheduling the query. For now, we'll leave it uh, switched off. Then destination is where you want to present uh, the query results. Let me create a new sheet. Let me call this as invoice. Let's create a the new sheet. Let's execute. So now it has brought in all the invoice details into this tab. Okay, so if you go back, we'll see the query one here. We can give a name to this. Let's call this as invoice query and save this. Go back, you can see this invoice query here. So uh, now let's let's look at uh, specific fields. We can choose invoice ID, amount, and summary. Let's say only this information I want. I can choose those fields and execute it. Then let's look at filters. We can say the amount. If it is greater than 100, then only we bring this. Yeah. 
if you see here, now it will show only the invoices that has amount greater than 100. Right. So let's try sort by. I want to sort it by summary in ascending order. So it is sort by uh, summary now. These are the basic querying methods. Uh, in terms of destination, we'll see what other options are there. It has options like where to present, which cell to present. We have chosen the uh, tab and we can choose which cell to present it. For example, we want to present this from B5. And if we execute this, this will start from B5. So this one is very useful if you want to present multiple uh, query results in the same tab. So you can switch this off if you have multiple queries and then you want to, uh, you don't want to clear the entire sheet before execution. And you don't want the headers to be included, you can switch that off and execute it. This headers will go off. So these are the basic steps. I'll bring it back into the uh, into the old level. So as you see, when we use this query wizard, the database browser has formed the internal query that is getting executed here. If you understand SQL, uh, so this is the SQL that gets executed when we when we press the execute. If you are an advanced users and if you want to write your own custom SQL, you can select this custom SQL option. Then you can change this to whatever you want. Once you have defined the queries, you can schedule the queries to be running automatically uh, on a hourly, weekly, monthly basis. So to enable automatic execution, click on the menu and go to automate, switch on enable automatic run. So this is the master switch to enable automatic run. Once you have switched on, you can go back to the query. You will see this automatic execution. So this button will be available to switch on, switched on. You see an interval here. You can select hourly, daily, weekly, monthly intervals. Let me say daily. And you can choose a time zone. Default time zone is the current time zone. So I'll leave it as this. Period, I'll say that, okay, from 4 a.m. to 5 a.m., I want to run this query automatically. Once this is being scheduled, you can just save this. So it is now scheduled and it is ready to be executed automatically. You don't need to keep this spreadsheet open or G Suite add-on open for the automatic query to be executed. It will be executing it from the background. You can also update data directly from Google Sheets to edit. Go to the edit menu. Start tracking. So now you can go ahead and change something. For example, I, this particular one, 1000 CC invoice does not have summary or amount. Let me put a summary. So the moment I make some changes, it tracks that by adding colors to that. So I'm done with my editing. Let's say I just want to edit only one record with this thing. I will go ahead and choose the connection. I'll choose the table and we'll say same. So once it is successfully saved, it will change the color to green and then uh, it will it will show that it has been updated here. Let's stop tracking. Let's go back to query. 
to verify that it has been correctly updated in the database, let's run the query once again to bring the information back. Just look at this invoice ID, this is 1000 CC, summary is car purchase and amount is what I have updated. Let us execute and see that whether it is bringing back that information. Now if you see this record 3, it has car purchase and amount. The edit can also be used to insert new records. I'm going to insert some new records. As you can see, whenever I'm typing in new things, it is tracking the changes by changing its color. Let me drag this and then create uh, three rows, or four rows in fact. So it's identifying four rows are edited. So I can go and save this. So as the rows are getting updated, the rows in the Google Sheet are uh, changing its color to green. So you can stop tracking and just verify that whether these records are uh, really inserted into the database, we can go back to the query and execute the query. So you can see that those records that we have inserted are present uh, in the query results again. So that's it. Uh, so thereby you can use a database browser to connect to a number of databases, query and bring the results back into Google Sheets as well as edit the records directly from Google Sheets and update it back to your database. So it is that simple. Apart from this there are many other small features. So keep exploring and enjoy the add-on. Thank you.